Oh, it's fun. The freedom is nice, but sometimes I guess you can get stuck. And I don't think I'm stuck. I think I'm doing things okay, but uh, I... I don't know. Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Last episode, we mounted Ayers Rock, I believe, and made our way into this cavern system where today we're opening this chest. Is it a mimic? Is it a chest? It is a chest, and it's got an elixir. Okay, well, that's somewhat anticlimactic. I was honestly hoping that it would be a mimic because at the very least, then we would get a, uh, you know, a non-zero amount of experience points. We leveled up once or twice yesterday, and I'd like to see that trend continue because the enemies are not yet doing anything, but I'd have to imagine are going to get tougher here in the near future. Uh, speaking of a tougher, we have had a relatively tough time in this dungeon, but at the tail end of yesterday's episode, we, we did kind of figure it out. I feel like we're making progress here, Jiminy Christmas. Let's not speak too soon, uh, but let's... You know, let, let, let's let's keep doing exactly that. <laughs> uh, so if we come down here, we can blow this wind, and which is going to rotate the uh, the platform up to the north of us, therefore allowing us to go back that direction. Is that what we want? I suppose it is. This feels familiar. Did we already do this? I think we, we, no, we didn't. We did this something similar in a different room. It's all blending together now. I mean, this is part of the problem when you get old. If we blow wind to south, what does that do? Absolutely nothing. Isn't it great? Blow wind to the west. Turns it that way. Again, this feels markedly familiar, but I suppose uh, dungeons and things like that are going to have trends that manifest themselves along the way. Jump across here. Is, is, this is the way we're going, right? Because we pushed that log there? Are we doing a good? I don't even know. <laughs> when in doubt, keep, keep moving. As long as you can move, I suppose that's good. Yes, and we're going to change rooms here even better. Oh, look at this. There's a couple of giant friggin' birds hanging out on the precipice of this cliff. How are we all fitting here? All five of us? Six, I suppose, if you count Creighton. Now, uh, Creighton stayed back. Creighton's having himself a cup of coffee. Creighton doesn't do any fighting either, for that matter. He just hangs out with us. Crazy old man. Uh, I guess down is the only route we can take. We've exited the fourth door there. This is interesting, this platform here. Why is that? In case we needed to take a break, I suppose? Seems peculiar. There is the six. Uh, and there's even more down below. This is quite the dungeon. And we cannot go to the right, so we gotta go down these stairs. Ooh. Ooh, look at that thing. That's a big crystal. I won't touch the crystal. What's the crystal say for me? Crystal, hello? Felix, check the synergy stone. Everyone's PP was replenished. Oh, boy. Well, that's nice. We weren't really, like, hurting. Can we do that endlessly? Let's have a test with Sabi. Let's cure well and touch it. Yeah, that's pretty nice. We should just pocket that up. I mean, what? That can't be much bigger than Kraden. Pick that up. Let's go along with that. And then we'll come back up. We'll go back down there, I guess, if we need to at any point. Cast Whirlwind on your crystal head. No? Can't do anything with that guy just yet? We can go down this way, or we could have gone to the right. Huh, very curious what that would have done. Here is the giant ceramic. This will be what wakes up all the blowers. There we go. If we right Oh, we're getting a fight right on this dude's forehead. I'm so sorry, buddy. Uh, don't worry, we'll make sure these guys are a little bit more dead. And then we'll... Ride you? Maybe not yet. Maybe we should check out what that other walkway had to offer. And I suppose there was one that went to the left as well, but that's just to take us right back around, isn't it? Yeah, just the other side of this. God, he's kind of scary looking, isn't he? <laughs> he said. And oh, all these guys are not awake, though. Only that little one. Fascinating. Well, let's push this. Very good. So this is just a shortcut in case we need to leave and come back. I suppose that's convenient. Hopefully, we have absolutely no use for that, right? Because I feel like if we're leaving and coming back, something will have gone horribly wrong. We'll have died, or we'll have gotten to a predicament where we do not have the uh, the proper equipment to continue forward, and I hope to God that's not the case. Uh, where? Oh, we're going way up now. Okay. We have... Oh, hello, 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 hello. Move. You go this way. So that we can create yet another shortcut. Perfect. And here is yet another whirlwind statue for us to 
to activate another big face. Cool. Big face one and two. He turns that boy on. And only that boy? What is he blowing for? Where does he how does how does he blow? He blows to the treasure chest. I see, I see. Well, Piccolo and Big Bird, you two will be our witnesses as we accomplish the one thing that I tried to do initially when we got here. This was the first treasure chest I saw, and I pined after it. I longed for it. I had hoped. Wait, can we even... Yeah, we'll be able to. I was say, could we even leave if we get over there? We'll have to move that thing. No, no, no. Too many people. Too many spectators. You guys gotta leave. And I'm, I'm sorry. Can't... Not have room for it. Not enough tickets. Not enough seats. All right. Fire code specifically states uh, one less person. Felix checked the chest and got a vial. Well, that's... Something, right? What? That feels anticlimactic. Is that all we needed? I thought for certain we were going to get, like, a sweet weapon, or maybe, like, even some synergy thing. Apparently not. Uh, so, what else is there to do? Drop back down? I guess. Alright, we're here. Hmm. Something is off here. So oh, 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 I see, I see, I see, oh, I see. All the little fellas are burst in wind now. Okay, so that's what this thing did. Let's go back down there so that we can ride their winds and perhaps chalk up for our own self a couple of winds. Not wind, but winds, you know what I'm saying? So we need to ride from left to right. Can we catch this one? No, we've got to hop all the way over there. Golly gee, Willikers, is there not a quicker way? Gotta go through this, it's fine. This is, I guess this is not necessarily the worst thing in the world to have to come by the Synergy Crystal. It is blue and purple. And if we learned anything from Princess Peach Showtime, it's that, you know, purple is bad and blue is good. So to see them coexisting here together, ah, brings a tear to my heart. Anyways, uh, yes, hello. The welcoming crew, Piccolo and Bird Boy. Go to sleep. It's past your bedtime. You must be hurricane I will rock you like the hurricane. And I will bring you lots of pain. Good night, sweet prince. More hurricane twice in one battle for Felix. Look at that. <laughs> one for Bird Boy and Piccolo too. So if we ride this, or is there another one to ride up here? Like we need to find one to ride. It's the only problem. Um, I don't see one. We need to go down. How did we? How do? We, how do we hope to to ride it? Because positioning yourself in front of it is kind of paramount to your success there. I guess we need to come through the six. Because I feel, I feel like I should be able to get in front of that. Hmm. Boost hack. Maybe we should go from the beginning, though. Maybe maybe that's part of the uh, the thing I'm missing, because there there were some around there, weren't there? Like, in the, in the subsequent rooms after that room where we turned on all the little faces... I guess we didn't properly investigate the whole of it, but... Yeah, because we can't do anything here, man. Okay, well, let's let's go back upstairs. <laughs> Backtracking! It's the theme for, like, the last three episodes, and maybe even more continuing forward as the, you know, the dungeons continue to expand. The dungeons in the uh, Golden Sun the Lost Age seem far more expansive and complicated than those I remember from its predecessor, which is not a bad thing. Not at all. It's just definitely something that, uh... You know, that adds on to the experience, but definitely also something that makes it hard. It did be difficult. So do we get... We got winds down here? No, we just got giant freaking chickens. Get out of here. Don't... No, you want to dodge? Stop that. You get siphon sealed, and now Felix leveled up to 15. Love to see it. He's rewarded with $51. Ooh. Very nice. So if I had a better, a better memory, I, I would remember where it is that we needed to go or where it is that we saw other faces that we could not use. But I don't. I do remember this not being Jack Diddly Dungus anything that we can mess with. Thankfully we can go this way. And maybe this will be, be something facey. Face? Ooh, we're going over here to the left. Is this good? I feel like we just did this, didn't we? Let's cross over this way. <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna walk around until we th see things. I mean, that's just 
the nature of exploration, I suppose. Uh, I mean, quite literally, the definition of exploration is to, uh, well, uh, to trek through uncharted lands, and I suppose these are these are lands that are somewhat charted, so perhaps maybe we're not explorizing, but yeah, you know what I'm getting at, right? We're, we're gonna wander, perhaps is a better term. And we did pass a door. Did we blow this one? Do anything with this? What are you doing down here? We definitely already did everything we can do with that, and for that matter, probably everything we can do in this specific portion. So maybe I should go back and go through that three door, because it was a stair, was it not, that was attached to it? It was not a, a corridor that would imply that we were sticking around on the one floor, the same floor that we're on. Stairway would imply that we're headed up or down, very much like that right there. Uh, I don't think we can get over there from here. We gotta go up this way. We gotta cross over there. Oh my goodness me. We're stuck. We're screwed and McDoodled. Oh wait, no, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. We can just go down this way. Yeah! There we go. And I bet this is actually just gonna lead us right back where we were in the main corridor. Clearly something was meant to be understood once we turned everything on. Uh, assuredly, I was meant to recall some things that I'm not, and you, in fact, watching, are probably like, gosh darn it, LP, don't you remember? And I don't. I'm sorry, but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We'll figure it out. Uh, and hey, probably, it's very likely that I missed some things along the way, so if we have to retrace our steps and, you know, see some things like this that we've already seen, like these rocks and this chest where we started the episode today, <laughs> then it's fine, right? It's fine. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, I don't know which way it's happening. So, there we are. Hey, Jenna leveled up to 15-2, just in time as we got back to this room to hopefully see something that we missed. I mean, I don't necessarily like the idea of missing anything, but by golly gee Williker, it would seem that <laughs> that's our only hope. And this is definitely just the exit, right? Yeah, it definitely is not, not a place we need to investigate in a way to, to help us proceed forward. So that's fine. That is that has been accepted as not missed. Uh, everything here is largely inaccessible. There's nothing we can climb. And then these, they both lead us the same direction, both the left and the right, ultimately send us back to this. Is there anything I can do with the big face? Can I, like, do anything at all? Can I give you a whirlwind here? Ah. No? Nothing for the big face? The big face is unaccessible. Okay. Well, here we go. This it, It's happened again. It happened yesterday. It's happening again today. We are stumpty dumpty. So when this travels us up here, I see all this crap that I would like to access, but I do not know how. I do not understand it. And when it sends us here, it, I mean... We, we turned on all the small faces to help us do something. Right? The small faces are here to help. Why, why small faces not help more? You know, the small faces, whatever, the blowing winds and stuff, I mean, the small faces should start pronouncing things with with, the, with those winds. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like move their, their stony tongue or something around and tell me like, hey, go that way, dude, it's fine. And I suppose we could just do that ourselves. We didn't go this way after we turned them all on, but I don't think there was any any small faces this direction. This is just like the entrance, right? Yes, it is. And there's still that synergy stone laying about, which is great. Were we meant to leave? No, we weren't. There's no way we were meant to leave, because there's still stuff that I saw in that main room with the first big face that we had not yet accessed. Right? It, it, there was like a, a jumping platform section that'll take you to a gem, and we kind of just rode right up above it, right past it, so then our whirlwind. So there's got to be Something. <laughs> There's got to be something. Uh, genius level deductive reasoning, I know. That we're missing. Uh, let's go to the left. Let's check out the blue one. We checked out... Oh. Oh, hey. Take me away! Take me away! Beautiful. Now we've done it. We have found a place. Excellent. Okay, so now we're in business. Now we're in business. Look at this. We can move this face. But where do we want... To move it too. I guess we could move it to that treasure chest so that we can get it. We gotta push this guy all the way over, and of course we're getting assaulted by this mummy. He wants TP. Oh god! 
what? No, you have enough TP, all right? Be very convenient being a mummy. You'd never get caught anywhere in the wilderness with lack of toilet paper. Just rip something right off your arm. It's perfect. All your sanitization needs taken effect by your clothing. Don't you just love to see it? Okay, this... Yeah, that'll take us to, to Chessland. Take me to Chessland! Perfect, and there's a little drop-off, which is interesting. The clarity circlet? But we- oh, we left it behind, huh? We don't have room for that? We got room for that. You kidding me? What do we got here that we can get rid of? Uh... Hmm. Honestly? I'm gonna get rid of the regular circlet. I guess, no, it's probably worth money. It's probably worth money. It's probably worth more than the leather gloves. So drop them gloves, Sheba, and you grab this clarity circlet. What's that? What's that good for, huh? Where is it at? Raises... Oh, perfect! Raises wind power! That is just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> uh, okay, so... It's blowing here. We need to go, what? One, two, three, four tiles down? So that we can get set over on this platform, I believe. I suppose we don't necessarily know for certain that that's the part of the platform we want to. It just seems to me like it is. Once we slide down this little divot, we'll be able to see... Yeah, four, four is good. Even five, if we felt so inclined. Oh, feeling fancy. <laughs> oh, but no. No. All right, let's not get greedy. Five is a whole 125% of four. You know what they say about 125%. It's a lot. One, two, three, and four. Perfect. Not one more. We just need to position ourselves properly in a way that we get grabbed. Beautiful. And now we access this. We should probably put this down so in case we need to come back, which of course we haven't. Honestly, the only thing that those sort of maneuvers have been good for, the uh, little shortcuts to return, they've only aided in helping me run in circles. I feel like I've backtracked three or four different sections of this whole friggin' dungeon a handful of times. <laughs> uh, only purely because I allowed myself to. But I suppose, I suppose it's fine, right? Whatever. It's better to have as many avenues of exploration or as many pathways open to us at any one time. It's never something that's a problem to have too many, so... We'll continue to do so as those opportunities present themselves. Uh, more, more platforming here. Oh, you trying to be tricky with me, you little gopher? I play Mario on the platform. I jump all over the place here. And that affords us access to the right. And again, it's not actually a shortcut that we're opening up. Instead, it's just an avenue of return so that we can get over to the half that we had just unlocked. You see what I'm saying? Because that little movement... Well, I guess, no, it's not. That is... A, never mind. Ignore me. I, I, I know what I'm talking about only part of the time. And that's not now. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's eat some chickens. Get all of our protein. We are getting strong. We've leveled up so many gosh darn times in this place. Uh, the chickens are now doing only a single point of damage with their physical attacks, which is, hmm, positively scrumptious. Heading down the stairs in a new uncharted territory. Oh my, what are we going to find here? Uh, ropes? Oh, goodness. Wait, we've been here. Have we? This seems familiar to me. Very strange. L lots of rope action. Lots of ropes and climbing and jumping. Can we continue south? We can continue south. Okay, we're going to ignore, I guess, much of the rest of that room. Maybe we've already been there? Mm hmm. That sand's got to go. It's filthy. What would Mother think? If you let it accumulate to such a point, gosh, she would be sick. And there we go. Bimini Christmas, we cleaned it just like Mary Poppins. Mummy! You are not the mummy I'm talking about. But he's like, ooh, the sand, I loved it, oh god, hey, level 15, beautiful. Who was that, was that Jenna? It was Sheba, we're all together now, level 15, beautiful. We're progressing quite nicely. And... I want that wind to carry me over there? Oh, I want... Whoa. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Uh, can't do anything on that platform, can't even access that one. If we go to the right, we have a door. If we go to the left, we have nothing. So it looks like our options are maybe not as expansive as I had thought. Oh, 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 do wait, do wait, do wait, wait, do wait, though. We can go north, and then perhaps we can get ourselves involved in a little bit of something. Or maybe we push a log. Yeah, hey, I mean, that counts, right? 
It's not every day you get to push a log off of a six foot tall platform. It's amazing that it stays upright every time we do it, too. Very precise pusher, Felix is. Heading to the left, of course, gets us accosted. Maybe we'll level up to 16 before we ever fight some sort of significant enemy. I keep expecting to fight some sort of boss. Really, I thought we were going to fight one in the in the in like the desert portion of Air's Rock. Then I thought we were going to fight one at the summit of Air's Rock. And neither of those have come true, so maybe we just won't at all? Another vial! Yay! Healing! But for the time being, it would seem like we're safe. That dude's got to not blow his wind in our face. It's a good thing we went left for LP there. Number one, because we got the vial, you know, healing 200 points of HP, we can actually start to get better uh, use for that, more efficient use of it, now that all of our characters are getting closer and closer to that level maximum of 200 HP, but also so that we can actually progress. You know, it's kind of important too, some may say. Allegedly. It's, not, it's unproven. Hey, 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 yes! We've made our way to this guy! Which is where I desperately wanted to be. And then that guy would blow us right back over, which is not something I'm interested in doing. So let us glamber and sprawl and climb and grope our way to the top of this. Okay. I think this is going to take us to the jewel as well. Oh. Oh, yes, it is. Now, what does that mean? Oh, it's a door, not a jewel at all. Oh. And there's a bit platforming. Or. Oh, I don't... Why are you disappearing, platforms? Oh, God, there was a treasure chest over there. What am I... I'm pausing it. I don't... I, why am I pausing it? Oh, God. Well, not, this is an arena, if I ever saw one. The tablet. We want to go to the left, right? Will these go away? No, those will stay. Fine. But we definitely could have taken a different approach, right? Yeah, now we can't get that chest. What the chickamongus, man? Oh, that's gonna... Oh, that's gonna hurt my stomach for a while. <laughs> that's lame, man. That's probably some sort of super special weapon. It's only accessible here. And we have screwed McDoodled our chance at taking it. Okay, whatever. Well, let's go investigate whatever the heck this central artifact is. This tablet. It has strange characters written on it. Wielder of the wind's might, lay your hands upon this stone. We bestow upon thee the power to see the truth unclouded. Do you think I ought to touch it? Yeah. You rub it. Put your hands on it. Sheba, touch the tablet. And she's going to learn a new synergy, it looks like. Beautiful. Well, again, I keep expecting some sort of altercation, some sort of significant fight. Doesn't happen. Sheba learned reveal. I remember reveal. We have reveal and golden sun. Look at that! Reveal! Ha-ha! We revealed nothing! Ha-ha! <laughs> what if we come back here? We're gonna reveal the way back? Perhaps? Let's see. Oh, no! Not a friggin' all! The, nothing! As, assuredly, these circular arrangements will reveal to us something. Yes, they have to. Otherwise, why are they there? They seem placed in such a way that, yes, does afford us access to exit. And that also affords us access to chest! Yay! A Psy Crystal, but we can't hold any more crap. Uh, we definitely want that. That's quite a useful item. Honest, why do you have a game ticket? Give to Sheba. Sheba has the pile of game tickets, all right? You can't keep them away from their cousins. They'll be sick. Then I guess the other direction would be the direction we want to go to leave. Um, gosh darn it. I wish I could set multiple things. Because move is eternally useful. It's always useful. Whirlwind has been particularly useful here. I'm going to swap Whirlwind for Reveal. Just because we're going to use it pretty close here. Or uh, we're pretty close to where we're at. We're going to be using it significantly more than Whirlwind. We may yet still start to use Whirlwind some more. But I don't see any Whirlwind things, do you? I just see a bunch of, a bunch of purple clouds and floating platforms and... Then there's stuff I don't see, and I'd like to. So, you know, reveal. All right, it just makes sense. And that is how we exit. I see now. Reveal. You don't know. You don't know what they want. I am initially drawn back to the beginning. Uh, at the very top, there was a strange assortment of things. Clearly, we're meant to use reveal somewhere, unless that's just it. Like, did we get... We got the ultimate reward, and we're ready to leave. 
They do give us an exit right there. Right? Like, that's a pretty quick exit, too. Hmm. Should use this here? Huh? No? We got, I guess it's not the quickest exit, because we got to kind of backtrack a little bit. we got to go through these things. Ah. Huh. I'm just going to keep using reveal. How much How much is it? Is it one? I think it's a one PP cost. So it's not necessarily the most uh, inefficient thing to continue spamming. But golly gee williger, I'm almost afraid of like what I could be missing. And assuredly, the game will be relatively like obvious. And at least that was the case in Golden Sun 1. Uh, as far as like where you should cast reveal. And I actually, now that I'm thinking about it, back... Uh, at Madra, where Piers was being held captive underneath his jail cell, almost exactly, there was a spot where it was like, hey, you know, use the eyes that see stuff here, and, you know, good things will happen. <laughs> so that's an, that's an idea. That's probably what we're meant to do. Uh, return there, use that there, and free him, perhaps? Oh, what is this, though? I didn't even notice this. What do we blow this guy, huh? No, I just said we weren't going to use Whirlwind. Here we are, using Whirlwind. Ah, uh, I see, so that's going to get us the chest. <laughs> I missed that the first time. Good thing the game forced us to backtrack, so now we can get this chest. Hopefully, well, we don't have room for whatever's inside of it. We'll see whether or not we want to make room. Oh, we got room for that. 666 coins. Satan himself left his wallet here. Amazing. Well, he's not going shopping, is he? No, we are. Eventually, once we get to the next town, uh, which I suppose won't be for a little while, because if I do plan to backtrack all the way to Madra, we've already been there. We've already done purchased everything that could be purchased. Oh God, we're doing a lot of, a lot of backtracking here. Um, I suppose this is the only way to go, right? I mean, we got but one choice, and all I really want to do is just go to the summit and check out what's upon it. Oh. Yeah, that's right. There's nothing here. There's nothing here because... Because we got rid of it. Okay, well, I guess back to the inside? Okay, well, I guess I don't... I, I think we're done? I don't know. I feel a little bit, like, incomplete without there being some sort of final altercation. But I, I don't know. Unless we had peers, we could do that, which leads me to believe maybe we should have peers to freeze that water that was over there for us, but then... I think we need reveal to get it. I don't know. I don't know. The game allows you the opportunity to do things out of order, and it's a little problematic. Uh, to be honest with you, <laughs> oh, it's fun. The freedom is nice, but sometimes I guess you can get stuck, and I don't think I'm stuck. I think I'm doing things okay, but uh, I, I don't know. I'm leaving is what I'm trying to get at. I'm beating around the bush here. Getting out of Air's Rock. We spent the greater part of the last like half of a week here. And we are going to, uh, not yet go back to Madra. I know I was talking about that just a little bit ago, going to, uh, to underneath it so that we can cast reveal on whatever the heck the, uh, the situation was down there. I don't even know where I'm going. Can I leave? How do I leave? <laughs> I'm lost, man. Get out of here, dinosaurs. Uh, anyways, I'm not gonna do that just yet because we find ourselves all the friggin' way over here. You see what I'm saying? Like, Madra... Way, way, whole nother continent, really. Um, and there's like, I think there was a settlement. I thought I saw something over here. But there's there's stuff to explore. And obviously, we went to Mikasala not too long ago, too. So I am gonna poke around on this part of the map just for now, just for now. If we come, if we start to come across enemies too in the wild that are just like so ridiculously OP, just like we don't belong here, then I'll leave. Yeah. See, there's the settlement that I was talking about, and that's actually really freaking close. Cool. Well, look at this. We can we can stop and maybe buy some gear at Garo. Grow. Interesting. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, <laughs> reveal! There's nothing, of course. It's a town. It's a town. Definitely have an interesting sort of route in. Whoa, look at this. Cave art. Reveal on the cave art. Oh, I'm going to get... I'm going to overuse reveal a little bit, I think. Oh, that's weird. Wait, what? Now I can't go back there and push that other log. It's strange. Oh, I can jump this? No, I cannot. Okay, okay, okay. More things! Reveal! Ha ha! Nothing! The Is it just me, or did the, the light change? I feel like the light changed. Did something happen when I hit reveal? 
Maybe it didn't. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Entirely possible. Entirely possible. Oh, look at this. This lock's in the right location. Thank you. You get down there, too. Lots of logs. It's almost like they don't want people here. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's definitely getting darker. You see that? That's kind of neat. Very cinematic, in a way. Garo. Sad music, too. What was that? Yeah, the moon's out. There's like a... Looks like a mouse, but I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a wolf person. It's cute. Yeah. Sheba doesn't like them, apparently. How rude, Sheba. That wasn't very kind of you. I don't believe it. Was that a... What? Creighton, do you know what that thing was? Well, perhaps. So, what are you waiting for? Tell us. <laughs> I suspect it may have been a... A lycanthrope. A, 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 a lycan what? Uh, huh? They just think of them as a race of people born with special powers. Kind of like adepts, you mean? Yes, that sounds right, Seba. You've put it quite well. Adepts borrow their abilities from the power of the elements, while lycanthropes borrow theirs from the power of beasts. This is why they take the form of animals. They may look frightening, but we must try to communicate with them. Lycanthropes, werewolves, a whole village in hiding. Is it just me, or does Creighton seem a little too happy to have found werewolves? No, 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 they're cool, it's cool, it's fine. I would love to study them, but still, they do frighten me. I guess I'm just curious about all of the secrets of these new lands. Any real scholar would be thrilled to explore a new land full of mystery, huh? Yes, indeed. So, are there werewolves only on Osenya? Uh... If so, how could you even have known about them, Creighton? Uh, I, uh, yeah, that is weird. Uh, all right, so I lied. I'm glad we found werewolves there. Are you happy? Uh, and you know what? I even want to get a closer look if I can. Let's go. Let's find us some werewolves. He's very energetic. <laughs> okay, buddy. Well, we'll find you some werewolves next time. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it and hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you did, by golly, you will occur. I hope I see you again tomorrow.